In times of crisis, they say look for the helpers. We found one. Even though sales at his family's restaurant dropped 90%, Hamza didn't close up shop and give in. Instead, he's serving hundreds of free hot meals every single night to New York City's homeless. COVID-19 most definitely impacted everybody's life, you know? We kicked March off very, very strong. We had a strong catering business going, in-house was booming, you know, we were doing great. Mid-March, sort of fell off the face of the earth as we've seen sales decrease by more than 90%. We ended up closing our store in Manhattan Turnstile. But even though his own business was suffering, Hamza and his siblings refocused their efforts on how to help others. I spoke to my father and the first thing he told me, give back. If there's anything that you can do, it's, it's give back, it's take care of people. Throughout the years, we always watched our mother as she always gave back and she always cooked food for the community. Our home was open to anyone that said that they just wanted to come spend time with us and just to eat with us, you know? The right thing for us to do now is to feed everyone every single day, just like we used to. People were coming into Hamza's store hungry, and Hamza realized that amidst this crisis, New York City's homeless were being forgotten. Every business throughout New York City is shut down right now, right? So just imagine how much harder it is for someone that wasn't already able to get food to now get food when there's no businesses, there's no one walking on the streets, there's no one handing out change, none of that, right? Right now, it's the holy month of Ramadan, and this is a time for celebrating with family every night. But this year is different. And since the family can't be together, Hamza and the group decided to spend each night giving back to the community instead. So Hamza linked up with the organization Muslims Giving Back, who organize food donations to all people in New York who need it. A lot of people have this uh, perception that Islam may spread violence or hate or so on and so forth. We're here to spread love, man. It's, we have love for our city. We're going out every single night feeding a ton of people, whether they're Muslim or not. Every day, as his restaurant is winding down, Hamza stays behind to personally plate hundreds of hot meals of the same high-quality food he serves his customers. Then, he meets up with the rest of the Muslims Giving Back organization to pray, break the fast, and head into Manhattan. Every night, hundreds of New York City's neediest know to expect them to set up shop in Herald Square. All right, make sure everybody good. Try to stand six feet apart. Some of these people have been homeless a while and some are just recently homeless because of the pandemic. You know, I'm grateful. I don't take it for granted. You know, because there's a lot of people that's very unfortunate. You know, I just happen to be one of the ones that I'm able to come down and, you know, I'm not hungry. The fact that we can come here and get this phenomenal dinner with these incredible people who are servants is amazing. There's been single days throughout these past few weeks that we've given out well over a thousand meals. We had people walking up to us and like, hey, uh, this is my only meal for the week, you know, and I'm sorry, I can't, I, I can't accept that, you know. I, I can't accept someone telling me this is my only meal for the week when I know I have a store full of food. Once you start to give, it's contagious. It's definitely something that continues to give us that energy and that faith behind it to be able to keep doing good. New York City is not a ruthless city like how other people may think, right? You know, New York City is, is, is just one giant family. We may be a little disgruntled, you know, but we're definitely one huge loving family. I'm Hamza, this is Tahini, rally on.